Itzel Escobar back here on the program is going to be taking on Canadian Alyssa Kron at the Invicta FC Strawweight Tournament, which takes place on May 3rd. Uh, Itzel, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing awesome, but not as good as you, though. This is a pretty awesome opportunity, and I know it's a reserve fight. But first off, how excited were you to be a part of this? I'm extremely excited. I was just finally excited to get a fight. You know, I've been out of the, well, I guess, fighting um, process um, in a while. Uh, so I was just excited to, you know, get, get an opportunity, and especially with Invicta, which is such a, you know, big organization and stuff. Yeah, I saw you were supposed to fight at, uh, I think it was Fury FC 31 in March. What happened there? How come that fight didn't materialize? Yeah, um, my opponent ended up um, saying that she couldn't fight. She was apparently injured. So, I mean, we, we tried finding, like, another opponent at, like, a bunch of times. We even, like, put it on Facebook and everything, and we just couldn't find a fight. So Okay, that makes sense. And I know, you know, you fought a lot for LFA. Was there just no, uh, you know, opponents available as well? Because I imagine, you know, you would sort of built your career up with them. Yeah, no, so apparently um, because they saw that I was going to fight in Fury, they thought that I was already, like, you know, set to fight um, during that time. So their card was a, a week after and then a week after that one. So they just didn't end up asking me if I was going to fight with them or, or not. So, yeah. Have you ever been involved in a tournament like this before, uh, you know, even like in high school or anything like that, like just, you know, getting to be in a tournament? Um, not, not, um, well, I guess not exactly like this, but obviously like in, in Taekwondo and in karate, I always went to tournaments, but it's nothing to the extent of this one. So it's completely different. <laughs> yeah. And you're fighting Alyssa Kron. Uh, did you know anything about her when they, they mentioned her name as an opponent? Um, not really. We were just like, yes, we'll fight. It's a great opportunity. Um, of course we looked her up, but, um, yeah, it was, it was a perfect, um, opportunity. So we took it. Yeah. And similar professional experience. Um, Alyssa did have an extra, I think, exhibition bout on the ultimate fighter as she fought Jamie Moyle. Um, but, uh, now you've had a chance. Uh, how do you feel like you match up against her? I think I match up well. Um, I feel like it's going to be another grappler versus straggler type thing, but, um, you know, I think she has, good striking as well so i feel like she's an all-around fighter i think i'm becoming more of an all-around fighter as well so i think it'll be a good fight and you know she has a lot of fights and, and experience but you know you fought for lfa you fought you know macy barber and a lot of other really tough fighters do you feel like that's going to help you in this tournament just because i think some of the other women haven't really fought on that stage before yeah definitely i think um any any fight that i've had i've, I've learned a lot more you know Coming, coming up from, like, I guess the lower circuit and, like, the local stuff and then, like, getting up to LFA and starting to become a little more, like, confident in what I'm doing and stuff like that. Everything counts, um, even the smallest things and stuff like that. So I think everything that I've done to come to, come to this point, it's, everything has helped me, little or big, every, every single thing has helped me. How's training camp going? Uh, who have been some of your main training partners? Um, same people, you know, the, my brother is one of the main ones. Um, I have Tim, uh, Leroy, my coach, uh, my dad, who's always there as well. Um, you know, just pretty much the same people. How has training changed for this tournament with the fact that you got to finish it or, you know, cause, cause again, you only get uh, such a short period of time to, to show yourself and, and move on to the next round. Yeah, I feel like, um, because it's only going to be one round, everything's going to be probably way more fast paced than like a normal fight. So we've kind of been training to go a little more like a, little, a lot more faster and like, you know, kind of speed up my, um, I guess my, um, what is it? Yeah, just keep keep thinking, like, like I guess, um, what is it, the anaerobic or aerobic or whatever? Yeah, like a fitness like, term. I, I know what you mean, yeah. though. I know exactly what you mean. It's like you gotta, you, you got to be I more, like, used to, the like, words. the sprinting as opposed to, like, the long distance yeah. running. These are running exactly. examples. Exactly, exactly. So more like a sprint and then, like, you know, rest and then, like, another sprint, you know, instead of, like, it being, like, the three rounds in which, like, you know, I mean – would you not take your time, but more of like, oh, first round studying round, you know, like second round and then like you go a little faster and stuff like that. So it's just more like fast pace with every single round that we're doing. So. And that's why I do interviews and I don't, uh, you know, try and tell people about sports science because I totally butchered that. But at least we understand what we're talking about here. Which <laughs> yeah. Is good. Uh, how, how about the weight cut? How's that going? This fight's coming up here pretty soon. It's going well so far. Yeah. The same as usual. Okay. That's good. Um, who's going to be in your corner for this fight? 
Uh, my dad and Leroy Vasquez. And uh, how do you see this fight playing out? Are we going to see a submission in this one? Because it seems to be your thing. Uh, I don't know. I'm hoping to get a submission, but, you know, anything really, um, any kind of finish would be great. Yeah. Have you had a glance at the tournament, like in, as far as the participants and stuff? And if so, uh, who do you think is the is the you know most challenging uh, fighter in the tournament? Uh, I think um, probably either Janessa Morandine, I think is her name, and, or Daniel Taylor. I think those are the two very very strong ones. But um, yeah, I've been checking all of them out. All of the girls are extremely tough, so it's gonna be like a wild tournament. I'm really excited to just participate in it and see like the fights happening. And I guess if everyone's healthy, I mean, you you won't get another fight unless like something happens, like if there is an injury. So you're kind of thinking that in mind. So I'm gonna throw something out here just as like a hypothetical because I, I think this would would make sense. Um, Is Contender Series something you'd look at after this just because I know you've been with LFA, but it seems like they're bringing on some women here and there, and there is that opportunity of getting a UFC contract. Yeah, I would definitely love to. I've been I've been wanting an opportunity for a while. I mean, we haven't had one yet, so this Invicta thing was kind of like a step to an, a bigger opportunity, I guess, you know? So, like, I'm hoping for a good win, and then, like, hopefully, you know, something may come up of, like, Contender Series or something like that. We would definitely take that opportunity. Well, I mean, you're in a good spot. I mean, uh, you know, you're very young in the sport. You've got a great record. And again, like you're, you know, the, being a part of this tournament, I think we'll, we'll get all the women a lot of eyes on them because it's so unique, right? You don't see that yeah. too often in MMA. So definitely. that's just my two cents. Um, <laughs> downtime. Uh, we always talk about TV shows. Uh, is, uh, what's on the uh, docket for the uh, girly TV shows right now? So right now I, re I haven't really been watching too many TV shows, um, but I have been watching Game of Thrones. Like every, everyone, well, yeah. The, 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 yeah, so I've been re-watching them, and then I, I watched the last two episodes, so I'm oh, really Oh, so you're going in, like, opposite directions. So you're, like, watching, like, the first half and then watching the new stuff, and then I guess no, once you get... Yeah. <laughs> well, I already watched all of oh, the Oh, okay, the I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, so you've already seen so it. I was just re-watching them and then watching the new one again. I will barely so yeah okay well that's good yeah because I, I thought you meant like you were you hadn't seen the earlier season so you're gonna like catch up eventually in the middle but like no no that, that seems a lot cooler <laughs> what you're doing there um who who do you like the most in game of thrones is there like a favorite character um probably uh Arya stark she's pretty cool the just like her fierceness and stuff like that and like she knows how to like fight and stuff so i guess i relate a little bit but yeah is that the appeal of it? Is the fighting, you know, being a fighter yourself, is that something that gravitates towards, uh, you know, sort of you gravitate towards you to the show? Yeah, well, I just like the 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 show overall. Like, so yeah, I've been watching it since the beginning. So and pretty much everyone has too, except for me. <laughs> I haven't really seen too much of it. So uh, so there you go. Really? But, uh, yeah, I'm in the minority. I know I got to catch up. I, I'm, you know, I'm not. Yeah, everyone's always like, "What? You haven't been watching Game I know, of Thrones?" Like, I know. What? Well, what happened was, I think I don't know. I'm trying to remember. I think it was just I never had HBO, and then like I was watching other stuff, and it, it's tough. There's so many good shows out there right now. Like I'm yeah, watching definitely. Billions right now. That show is amazing. So I got I got to get on Game of Thrones. So so you just you might have twisted my arm on that. We'll see. But in the meantime, I'll tell you what I will be watching. May third, Invicta FC uh, Phoenix Rising Strawweight Tournament. I think that's how you say it. Uh, it's coming up here it's gonna be awesome uh, it's uh, always a pleasure uh talking to you just remind people where they can find you on social media and if you have any sponsors or shout outs the floor is yours okay uh so on twitter i'm at itzel underscore esquivel underscore on instagram i'm i'm at um itzel esquivel mma the same with with facebook um and i'd like to um shout out my gym paradigm training center J Dogs pkka um some of my sponsors um Fight Star, um, Loaded Pistols, and my newest sponsor, uh, Relentless Spirits.